Is there a feeling that you're getting when we're hearing uh, about the, the, I guess, the gamesmanship, the negotiations as we get into this Biden-McCarthy meeting tomorrow? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting, actually, the tonality difference between the two sides. Uh, the White House has been remarkably more positive on where things happen to be uh, in these negotiations than Kevin McCarthy has. I mean, Kevin McCarthy's gone out and said that the staff level talks aren't really making progress, whereas the White House is talking about optimism. What I do get the sense of, though, and I think it's really important, uh, don't, don't worry about the rhetoric. What you got to look at is where the framework is. And what we've actually seen is a little bit of a narrowing. The idea that there was going to be no negotiations in, in exchange for this is out the window, right? Because they're actually negotiating about different things. So there's questions about what's the framework. Um, so, so you are starting to see some, some issues come into focus. Uh, you are seeing some, some uh, permitting uh, rules come in there, uh, some talk about future spending uh, level caps. Uh, there are some real key division points, especially over uh, Republicans want to put more work limits on some entitlement programs. Democrats don't want to do that at all. Uh, so there are some key differential points. But you do sort of, if you take a step really far back, you can see a potential framework for, uh, for something if people wanted to come to a deal. The, the problem is going to be afterwards, though, coming to a deal that will both satisfy both sides without establish, establishing some narrative that one side caved completely, which could prevent their, uh, their elected representatives from that party voting for it uh, because nobody wants to vote for, for a deal that results in their side getting skunked. And it's also a matter of time, right? I mean, you have the X date coming up in what? A little bit over two weeks and reaffirmed by Janet Yellen that that's June 1st when the government runs out of funds and then you have President Biden having to go to Asia. Will that he even make it to that plane? Well, I think I think Yellen Yellen is talking early June, right? And there's a little bit of flex in that timeline, but there has been a real uh, question, and Joe Biden himself has fueled that question about whether or not he's going to get onto a plane. So I took it as reasonably good news that the White House came out uh, yesterday and and talked about the meetings that Joe Biden is planning to have when he gets onto that plane. So far, every signal is that Joe Biden will get onto the plane, will go to the G7 uh, in Hiroshima will continue on to Papua New Guinea and to Australia for a quad meeting. Uh, it's a very, very important trip. And we are seeing some criticism, including from Speaker McCarthy, uh, suggesting that perhaps Biden shouldn't go. It's worth noting that McCarthy himself went to Israel uh, earlier this month. So there's a little bit of uh, maybe some gamesmanship there. But right now, it does look like Biden gets on that plane. And if he does get on that plane, that's probably a positive signal.